were told you had to go to Mozambique for Zipa. Before then, uh, the leaders visited us. It was Dawaning uh, Stole, Zorewa, James Chikerema, Joshua Nkomo. They came to visit us in Morogoro. And then Chikerema was like, ah, I don't uh, entertain Zipra trend. How long have they been trained? And he was told uh, over nine months. So <laughs> there was to be a demonstration, obstacle crossing, what, what. And Chikerema said, no. Nah. I don't play with the zebra tent. So it was cancelled. Demonstrations were cancelled. Then we were told no. And then they came and addressed us, told us about the zipa, what a view, what a view. So then uh, it was selected that uh, we are to go to Mozambique. And then a group of 30, which involved myself as the platoon commander, Udubu, as the overall commander, and uh, Mike Reynolds, as the Utupu, deputy Gatupu, I was to be the platinum commander, were selected and given instructions to go to Zambia. We were not supposed to go to Mozambique, but we were to remain in Zambia as a nucleus of Zebra, in case Zebra did not function. So, Umangena gave us instructions, specific instructions. When you get to Tunduma uh, with the, the Tanzanians, you tell them you are, zip, you are Zipa. When you cross over to the Zambians, you tell the Zambians you are Zipra. They are going to take you in because I have already arranged that one. But then Utubu, by being dull, Udubu is Ben Umat, Ben Unlea, yes, Brigadier Unlea. Udubu changed from the instructions he was given and said, We are Zip. And the Zambian said, No, <laughs> not a Zipa here. Zipa is in, in Mozambique, not a Zipa in Zambia. Hi, ah, then we argued with the Mutu. Oman Gana said we must say we are Zipra a Zambia. You can't say we are Zipa a Zambia. Because Oman Gana told us that. And it was like, no, you can't divide us. Yeah. We are into unit. So Ama Tanzanians lifted us up to, and told us to go back to Mbea. When we go to Mbea, they put us into aircraft, summer buffalo aircrafts, to death. So we were almost the first people to arrive in Mozambique as a zipper. <laughs> and then, unfortunately, now it's under started coming in from Boroma. They were being flown by Amazambians uh, from Boroma to, to death. When Umangena arrived uh, 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 for the unit talk, because then we were to be addressed by Samora, he was mad, 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 mad. What are you doing here? I said, no, it's Dupu, it's Ben, <laughs> he's the one. Dupu, why did I tell you? Ah, Dupu was like, no words. So, that's how we, we became the first group to integrate with the Zanla Eted. To, to be Zipa. So how was that operation? How were the relations? Yeah, yeah. The relations, at first, they were okay. At first, it was like good relationship and so on and so on. But then when we started really going into the camps, Zanla, by the way, was... Uh, had almost ceased to exist. They had no food, they had nothing. They had just the camps. And they were really starving. Beans used to be counted. They would count six beans for you, big beans like that, six in your plate. Amagwalda would be, you would be given who had just There was no food. Because everything had been cut off 
by the Tongo Gara, the Chitepo incident. So AAU had cut everything. But that was, wow, how Zipa was born. Because Samora had brought in OJZ to come and see the Zandla camps. And when they saw, they saw the state, which was the camps, OJZ said, no, 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 no. We need to have a unit because this is serious. This will expose these guys to Amabu. That's what he made OJZ really want Izipa to succeed. That's how OJZ convinced Omangena Ugudi Izipa to be born because then they thought Zanla had been out. And as soon as Zanla started uh, seeing things differently, things started to change slowly. And the relationship now was getting bit by bit, a bit sour here and there. Tina were taken to Tembwe to be integrated in Tembwe. When we got to Tembwe, we found Tembwe was made of about three camps. And they had a lot of people. Estimated maybe two, three thousand in the three camps. And there was only 30 of us, you see. So, and the camp commander there was Makasha, a guy called in Ndakura Makasha. Makasha passed on, he was a, now a senator somewhere in Bindura. Mm. That guy was like, I don't know. But then, with us then, we were from Morogoro, so it was like, we were really raw. And we didn't sort of intimidate easy. I tried everything, but we couldn't intimidate easy. One uh, ball of condition came about when I was instructed to be a training officer and train a group of women and men, a group of about, on or about, on or about 200 people were to be trained. So on the training, Ambrose Mdiniri was the, the chief of training for the whole of Zipa. Then when uh, Mdiniri said to me, you're going to train these guys, and I said to him, I don't have a program. How will I train them? I don't have a program. Mdiniri said, no, I'm going to Tanzania, and I'll be back in about two weeks. So I'll bring you a program from Morogoro a training. But now what I want you to do is to train them out of your head. Just give them short matches, what and so on, and maneuvers and so on. Then that's when a uh, istic method came into play. Because I said, what are you going to use for rifles? And then he said, no, you can use the sticks, chopsticks. So the first sticks that were given to people to do as weapons were muted in the temple mm. by Mdinil. <laughs> and so we, I went down chopping sticks and giving them as rifles to hold as rifles. So then out of uh, my head, we'll just uh, do anything, fine movement out of the head, crawling and so on and so on, because we were waiting for the program. And then during that course, maybe on or about towards two weeks training, uh, the commissar, who was the commissar of the camp, started saying, yeah, you, Basikana, I mean, Magupis Ramaning, not to Mogu Zimba, mind, say, why don't you go into the rooms? Maguda Guru, Gamanj, you see, Murupis Rasterik. I must go with Zimba because they were supposed to be instructed to go to houses, the chef, and why do I'm got you? So then, as I was go walking around the training areas that day, one girl, I still cannot confirm whether it was Opa or someone else, but that girl had come from. 
Borom. I didn't manage to to talk to Opa and uh, find out whether it was there. But it was quite a beautiful girl who asked me. And she said, Mazin Ziramega comes and I cheat out of parent. Could he at this point have Zimba? What do you do? But the training is very hard. You have to get up and up. You know, Rema. So you have to go in there, Kumbam and Yeruji Chaisa, not to go to Ara. Man, you have to go to Zimba food. You can't manage that one. And then I said to her, no, don't worry. We'll talk about that one. I, I had an idea in my mind that I was going to speak to Makasha about these girls, that they should excuse these girls, Lavava Trina, and at least concentrate on these ones who are not uh, uh, training. And then, ah, it was... <laughs> There was no ways. So I, I, that evening, I didn't meet Makasha. Because I was expecting to meet Makasha in dining room, but I didn't see him. Until the next morning. The next morning, I was hoping to speak to him because in morning, Yonke used it to be the same. You would go on parade, and from parade, you would go to your actions. So I didn't meet Makasha. A locusin, a parade lapa. So, O Commissar instead said, Yeah, O Makasha is coming to speak to you, meaning the whole parade. So, we waited there and Makasha came in. When Makasha came in, said, Yeah, I have good news for you all, mm. meaning everyone. Mese pan apa, I mean Murutin, my trend personnel. Just like that. And I was like, what? <laughs> Behind that one, having trained in Morogoro for almost one year, three months, and so on. Training in Morogoro was not anything, it was hard. And we had done everything. We had done, I don't know. What? So in training Emorogoro had hardened us seriously. Hard, hard, hard. And then to hear with the Vandavale two weeks from the head and now trained personnel. No in the Gumusha. No operator now. I was like, what? So there was a guy who was very close to me, who was called Udandi. Udandi we trained together in Morogoro and he was Sort of my right hand man. Even in the platoon, he was uh, my right hand man in my platoon. So, Umaganja said, Martin, personnel. Just like that. So, he never consults you? Uh, no, he just says, easy, Martin, personnel. You're done. Training is done. And I was like, how are these guys going to do on weapons? They don't know in AK. They have never trained an AK. And there and there, we're told you're going for deployment in a week's time. And uh, these guys, only two weeks back there. They have never seen an AK. Mm. Now I was talking to Dandy and saying to Dandy, Dandy, how are these people going to, to learn AK before we even go to operations? Mm. How are we going to do it? I heard them say, I don't know. And for sure, in, uh, in uh, about the week's time, Amarol came in. We picked up. But before then, Umagasha had the, wanted to dispute us, the third of us, into Ama sections and so on. And I refused that one. Because he had said, no, is it I said, yeah, oh, yeah. And then I said, no. Can a zipper is at the way and we are not going. We are going to follow a zipper one until Mtemu is zipper. Here zipper says we, we stay like that. So, when you are moved out, here Zanla, can I get the distributor? I eat Because, I mean, I'm going to tell you. 
Because in my team, ten years step, I said, yeah, well. So I was like a, a confrontation, but well, they couldn't. Because they had, the whole camp was full of Amma recruits, which we, we could beat to pulp. <laughs> because every day they have tried anything funny. Of course, a punch up got in when one of the guys said to us, no wonder you did that show. Two and two and my operation is like, no wonder you did that show. And we said, get away with that. I'm not going to follow that one up. So they tried to be funny, funny, and a kitchen, we destroyed the kitchen, took the blocks as a kitchen, and hammered them to good until they left the kitchen. So it was like, very, there was a okay, hot, hot thinking. La. So you know, when we were going for the operations, we met in the land Mangena. So Mangena told us, point blank, we did not matter. What we thought is unit is no longer unit. It's always gone. It's Tanya. But when I did not see a lap, I always found the EMP, which is unlikely. So, Lina, when you are going to go a Kaya, Lingene Kaya, don't come back to Mozambique. Instead, take Asmund, go to Zambia. I find the number through Botswana or through Zambia, whichever way, but go back to Zambia. I think I saw Pen doing up in Mozambique. Mobi Zani has gone haywire. What did he say? If you come Pen Yani, that is his words. And for that, each commander was given thirty dollars. Each soldier was given twenty dollars. Ogu di ni hambali seven cents lin ni hambali si akona, but he never come back to. To, to Mozambique, because Izanu has gone haywire. And we were on our way to, to the border to open up Ikaza province, because Ikaza province had not been operated upon. Even Amazanla had not gone there. They hadn't operated, they had been up north this side. But Ikaza, they had not gone there. So we were opening Ikaza province. When we got there, who report in Pogo, the one ex vice president. He's the one who brought Amad drums and Pop. You know, there were these 44 gallon drums. They were with the AKs. The my LMGs and what have you. When he came in, those uh, rifles had crease. They were pegged in crease in those drums. The Amad drum learner had Amad big openers which we used to use to open them up and unpack. So now the question came about how are they going to strip the rifles, Bengazas? And then one guy goes up a drum. That guy was called Pugu. He goes up a drum and says, enjoy me, my comrades. Pugu. He says, enjoy me, my comrades. He says, strip me up, put it up. Says Rui Dava, a man who didn't know join a name. No good Makia China and no go to China. No good, not going to China. He was there <laughs> in Mozambique. And he says, No go in the name of Kiki with China. A man who didn't say that. And one guy says, Commander Chef, you know it, I say. Put it. Says, It's in a crease. What do you go and fetch water from the Limpompo River? And they were those drums. So they fetched water, brought water in, and says, make a big fire. Made a big fire, put the drums in the fire. And the drums were now, the water was boiling in the drums. No, no ammunition. No, each person has got his own rifle. I will have ammunition in the same position. Each person has got his rifle. Till I was busy cleaning that crease out of our rifles. And then I said to them, don't strip your foot. Because then he knew that they did not know 
Yeah, how to stop it. So they say, the, but how do you remove the grass? So he says, he Chris, he says, bring water, boil the water. The water was boiling now from the drums. He says, okay, bring your AK. So he takes the AK, dips it in the boiling water, and gives the guy. All the grease is left inside the, 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 the drum. He gives them their rifles and says, yeah, and all of them. So now what happens with that is that the furniture of that AK is a kukumala and the furniture starts peeling off. And that rifle now looks two years old, yet it's a day old. And to make matters worse, now we've taught them how to load the magazines and so on. And then now we have to deploy at the Ipafuri River, at the junction of Pafule, the Mbombo River. We have to deploy there to start off opening up there. So as we are going for, for, for e -E deployment, that Pugu guy, it's just a few days, maybe four to five days since we, we, we got armed. And that Pugu guy again goes up on a, 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 a stoolin and says, yeah, me my comrade says, I'm not being, I'm not some hysteric. He makes me very angry because my is hysteric. Munorara stere. Put the thing in Zagasakara so because my zebra Argudi Mausiku Magarara in him. What do I put the thing? When the Nazo Gumusha, one of Chera Tavo, Zabaka Chera Gumusha, boy, I will change right foot. That's why I put the thing in Zagasakara so he put the sharo. You know? Gaza province has never been operated on. But how come you can tell them, Guti, Masipra, I want to put it away, 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 I want to put it away. Because I want to put it away. In other words, he makes them think that it's just we are doing some night work. So, Munoto, <laughs> the guy sleeps with the, his the rifle held strongly, but still it will be old because it was dipped in hot water. You see? Now you can imagine. And now we are at the, at the border, on the junction of Papure and the Popo River. We just deployed across them. And now as soon as we arrive, they start singing. Yeah. Hey, one day I'm going to say, hey, my bunum jawana, hey, jani jani. Mina, I have been appointed security origin. Yeah, my catch and original commander, Senzanga Kona, who was Zebra, is uh, the deputy. Mina, I am the security man. So I query the singing part of it. And as I'm querying the singing, Amabunu starts uh, driving past with the tractors on the Rhodesian side. But Amabunu are driving tractors. Umbunu is driving a tractor <laughs> across, he's going. But then what is funny is they are going one way. <laughs> they are not coming back. People are sitting on the logs. And that tractor goes past going north. Pretending to be a farmer. Pretending to be a, 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 an RNTC guy, yeah. a, a wood guy who's carrying wood in his tractor. But now, the funny part is Murungaru driver tractor. Now I query that. Guys, stop singing. Murungaru driver tractor. Murungaru driver tractor. If those guys now, learning it from the Silo Scouts, a par. Those guys were platoon commanders who were driving. They were deploying their people who were sitting on the logs. You see? So they were busy deploying. That's why they were going one way. <laughs> and then another one takes over the tractor. Another platoon. Another platoon. So when I queried that, my wing, that's a coward. 
I'm church. This is grand zero today. I'm church today. I know what you got It's afraid. It's scared of him. I'm not going to just say grand zero today. I am in garbage. So I was demoted. Immediately. Immediately demoted. Made section command. A guy, one zebra guy, who was a, a demoted was made the the second. I now I made the section command. And then in the evenings around the five, I think five is there about. We are told the address by here, my guys is going to know. You guys, all the second commanders, you come to me, do by forge guy a pude. So that when you get to home, section commander na na komisa wako no siya put in a put mokwira pachur mono piram zin ne forge guy. Why am I doing a forge guy any? So me na said no 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 ways. I don't part with my rifle. I don't part with my rifle, I don't part with my boots. Those are the two things I don't... Remembering what had happened to, to Squinny. <laughs> <laughs> I said I don't part with the, my things. My rifle, I don't leave. I'm always with my rifle. Ah, no, I support them, Jim. Diana no support them, Jim. Another guy called Fanyan again from uh, Zebra side, appointed second commander, and I was demoted. And now purposefully appointed scout. Purposefully. Now I'm demoted twice within a day. <laughs> so it made, now I made a scout. Demoted, made a scout. And another guy called Fanyana says, in Indian support. Fanyana is appointed second command. A way we scout. Oh, okay. No problem. <laughs> Demoted. So now, my group was taken, picked up to go onto the northern side of Malvenia, of Sikwarakwara now. We had to cross on the northern side of Malvenia to go home. So when we were deployed there, a group of Ailodan was deployed about a kilometer away from us. When we, we were going in, we heard a rifle. Ta -ta 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 -ta. We did not know what was happening. Tina, we just carried on. Mina, I'm the scout. But before we went in, and you remember what the Wagu had been said, there's no produce operating here. Yeah. Five guys came in. And we were told, I am a gorilla and got operator Munu. They were just the Fambisa Munu. You see? <laughs> what do you think those guys were? They were serious guys. Yes. They joined us. They are to guide us. So they guide you in an ambush? Yeah. No, they, 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 they are supposed to. Because the rifle that we had had there, of course, I'm not, not jumping the gun. They were shooting mutant. These guys, the Rhodesian guys, are good. So what happens is as you are walking, you are the scout. You are walking in front. They just pretend like they had been uh, wrestled with something. So they deploy behind you and shoot you. So I the whole night they're trying to shoot me. And Mina, I'm telling you the truth in the world. I never realized anything. I could challenge these guys. Hey, you guys, don't deploy behind me. When you, you get the rattled or startled, please come to me and we deploy in a big formation. Don't deploy behind me. You see? And these guys kept on doing that same thing. Lagging up somewhere in the, uh, at night, we went into open areas. We ain't gonna resolve them, 
We went into an open area, and then I said to them, no, let's make a fire. Instead of single fire, let's make a fire. So there's two lines. Now I take one of them, who was called Moyo. Moyo, you walk there, I walk here. So some of you follow Moyo, some of you follow me. So we're walking. As we are walking, these guys now start going. They couldn't see where Moyo was and where I was. So they started going zig 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 zig. Somewhere along the way, Makasha stops us. And he calls, Yambigiza, comrade. Moyo, comrade. I mean, we teach you to get him. Yambigiza, Rupamba Panam. Moya Rupamba Panam. I mean, Murupamba Mujiz, there, there, in there. What is happening? Monopege, don't rat the guy passing Panam and don't Zambrai. Makasha. Made it them, made it them. And then I cannot read what is happening. Um, no. Fortunately enough for me, as we leave, we're going to thick areas again. So in thick areas, we go back into our single file. So we are into a single file again. But then Makasha, what he has done is, he has uh, me and the boots, put really big boots that I was putting on, which I had brought from Morocco. He says, put the sack of the room, you know, the thing is, these are boots. I said, no, okay. Can I get here? I'll cut my bar eye. I'll cut my off my bar eye. Those are the three plain. Ah, he allows me to do that. But when we walk a short distance, he says, no. No, sir, senor. Now I'm walking on foot. When he takes out my boots, says, Fuchira them. Yeah. Now I'm walking on foot, but I'm but, but, on foot. So as we are walking up to dawn, and now we're busy, he's really angry. Mm. Like, because now the sun is about to come. So when we got, when we got there, it was around Mpapa area, uh, areas of Mpapa. When we got there, Makasha was hot. Hot, mad, mad. I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand why he was mad. So then he says, yeah. Organize organize Them no organize So we go with those guys. Then when we got to the 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 Muzwan Gona Nalo, I'm in Luana, I'm Tala Luana had worked the Blawai. So I'm busy trying to talk to him in Shona. Tala Luana says, I must look. So we start speaking the way with him. I tell him, I know, Ugo Janjani Jani, Tinas Lapanes, Tulinles, Yana, so, 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 so. I'm telling says, No, let me send our fan. They organize. And then these guys, MBA Lab, Seven for Mogili. 